there's three tips. There's three things that you need to understand and become very good at if you're if you have a shorter reach or you're shorter than your opponents. So number one is understanding your true range. A lot of people think, oh, my reach, I have a short reach, therefore I have a short range. That's not true. Your true range is one step away. And what I mean by that is if I'm in my boxing stance, I'm one step away from closing the gap. And that is my true punching range. When I can touch you with the jab, that end of my jab, that's my true range. Not here. That's an arm shoulder jab. Coming off the back leg and I'm moving my head and I see my opponent, boom, that's my range. Right there at the end of that shot. So from where I started, boom, to there. That's my true punching range. Understanding your true range, that's gonna help you get inside, especially with these longer guys, these taller guys, long arms. Okay, understanding you're only one step away. Soon as you touch him with the jab, you can let go with everything else behind. Get up on his chest and go to work, right? Work the body. You already have a lower center of gravity, get up underneath him, right? The other second thing that you wanna do is you wanna learn to fight behind the feint and the jab. And to get in on these tall guys, you need to add a double jab, sometimes a triple jab. And so to do that, if a guy's moving back, when you're punching, right? One, it's better for him not to move back. It'd be better for him to circle out either left or right. But let's just say you're coming up short. You feel like you're coming up short. You got to double up the jab to get inside. So if I'm coming in, I'm moving my head, of course. I'm coming in behind my jab. I don't just walk in. I, I must come in behind my jab. I don't care if I'm shorter than my opponent. You have to come in behind the jab, double jab, feint and you gotta stay off the line, keep your head moving. But if I'm coming in, I'm gonna double up that jab. Pop, pop. Now I close the gap. Now I can let go with my shots, right? If he backed him, if I backed him up into the ropes, he's in trouble now, right? I got him right where I want him. So that's the second thing, is you need to come in behind the jab, to faint the jab and add the double jab, even a triple jab to get in. Now the third thing, I have a whole video on it, pot shotting. Pot shotting is punching when your opponent least expects it. When they least it, expect it is while they're punching. You got a big long tall guy with long arms and he likes to use that jab and maybe he's using his legs and he's boxing and moving. And when, whenever he goes to shoot that jab, that's your opportunity. You gotta learn how to slide up underneath that jab He's got that long torso. Those guys are easy to hit. All right, I used to love a tall guy because I was an average height in my weight class. I fought at 147, welterweight, many, many pounds ago, right? <laughs> but the thing is this, if he's tall in my weight class, if he's tall to me, he's got a long torso, chances are. He could have long legs, but there's a lot more body to hit. So to me, that's a nice big target. So that's how I looked at it. And when a guy's jabbing, I love to punch with him. And what I mean, not I'm eating one and giving one. No, I mean, I know the shot's coming, the jab's coming. So I'm threading the jab with a looping right hand, right? I'm, I'm catching him around and I'm letting that jab go over my shoulder. I'm sliding up underneath and I'm touching him with my own jab to his body, his solar plex, his sternum, right? Or I might even aim for a specific spot I might hit the spleen over here on his left side I might hit that liver over here right but i'm trying to hit him nice and stiff and hard right and fast while he's trying to jab me or i might aim right for his solar plex try and knock the wind out of him but i'm trying to stun him a little bit while he's jabbing me he's not expecting it so i'm moving in i know he's gonna jab he's got these long arms and then so here we go we're moving in here comes this jab, boom! I'm just sliding up underneath with my own stick, right? Sliding out, his jab's going, boom! I'm touching him. All I gotta do is make contact. Then I'm inside, now I let my hands go, okay? So don't let this limit you. Don't get this out of your head that your arms are too short, that you're at a disadvantage. Make it your advantage. 
become masterful at pot shotting, become masterful at coming in behind your faint jab, double jab, and even triple jab if you need to get in, getting inside. Remember, head movement, stay off the line. And the first thing I mentioned to you, you gotta learn your range is only one step away. You're one step away. That's your true punching range. Get these three things down and your arm reach will no longer be an issue for you. In the meantime, watch this video next.